find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast 214, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, uh, live from the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA, ready for another one. With me on the line is John Chichilla at Chilla on the Twitter. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. How are you? All right. Ready to talk some geekiness? Oh, I love talking the geekiness and the pizza-ness. And the pizza-ness. Always jealous of the pizza-ness, for sure. Um, and also joining us uh, is Rob Johnson, at Rob on the Run. You may know him on the Vines and the Twitters or wherever you may follow him. He's all over the place, too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's good to talk to all of you. I'm glad you joined us. As w- as was sh- we were just discussing before the show uh, went live recording here, um, he was stuck on 28 to the point where he was updating me on Twitter, pictures and everything, just to yeah. prove it. Yeah, I didn't want to stand you up, Sork. No, you know no. that's uh, <laughs> it's it, and that's awesome. Technology is awesome that I can sit there and take a picture and say, "See, I'm not lying to you." I love I love the first message we got was was uh, well, I can do this by phone or Uvu. Um, I know because <laughs> Google Plus, I couldn't. Can you do Google Plus on iPhone? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. See, I've avoided. Well, I mean, the video. Can you do video? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you got to get the Hangout app, and uh, okay. yeah, we we've done it before. I think I I think <laughs> Dutters totally has joined me. us from her. Uh, her tablet oh, and, so. and didn't daughter's brother join us from his or something? i think he did as well yeah because he had yeah. a computer just, issue i've avoided the google plus thing for so long that i just felt like man i know uvu isn't that hilarious uvu for whatever reason has worked very well for me uh in in almost like a google hangout i mm-hmm. guess comparatively um but i don't have that app and so now you live, you learn. I, re- and, I recommend uh, it. I, I love what they're doing with the Google Plus. Obviously, we run this show with Google Plus. Like, I only have to run one sound source because I have all you guys in one Hangout, for instance. But I can push the videos to separate things, so I have each of you on your own video feed that I can manage. So, and it works great. out pretty well. It looks great. John looks great. I mean, this is this is legit, man. So, I, uh, my Ubu and phone call here. days are over. <laughs> Of course, this is the awesome cast. You can find us at awesomecast.net.com. We actually move servers, so if you're uh, hitting up any links at sorgatronmedia.com slash awesomecast, we're actually working on work, uh, moving everything sorgatronmedia.com over. We've already done awesomecast.net officially is uh, where everything's going to live for this place. So that works now. I know it's been going a weird place, a weird no man's land category wiki thing on sorgatron media for a while uh but we got that fixed at least for the dot net and the dot com should be uh corrected shortly if not already depends if somebody got my email and i'll double check that real quick uh, nope still weird uh so <laughs> hopefully we update that in a little bit but no please update your link seriously if you're going to uh, sorgatronmedia.com slash like awesome cast slash wrestling ma'am show anything like that please update your links or, or your blog feeds or anything uh within the coming weeks because that will be killed off at least by the end of september maybe sooner i might set up a redirect here soon i'm already trying to kill it off google uh thank you months for showing me webmaster tools and how i can do that for instance um but uh also uh please check us out we're of course here live every tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com around about 6 30 p.m eastern time a little bit after that at least we're uh, prepared or we're chewing on pizza from our friends at slice on broadway um and uh you can join us in the chat room just like uh, all these guys are like doug durda that was chilling to the spice girls earlier uh juggalo john uh, uh intern mike joining us every week chachi mad mike wheels uh for instance um also, you can join us. We're at AwesomeCast on the Twitter uh, and AwesomeCast on the YouTube. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Google+. And uh, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, on Stitcher, Spreaker. I think this one is the one that made iHeartRadio recently. I have so many of them up there. I'm sorry. Ooh, uh, and, of course, YouTube for the video version as well. And, hey, one moment. We want to send happy birthday wishes just this past uh, Monday, September 1st, to Rob De La Creta, the original awesome caster i'm not saying he's one of the original crew which he is here on this show but he had the awesome cast and did an awesome cast before we did this awesome cast he's the he's the nexus of this thing happening so a big happy birthday to him uh 
So I, and I'm sure he blew something up for his birthday. Uh, so Rob Johnston, as our uh, guest uh, joining us for the first time here this week, uh, we start off with an awesome thing of the week, but I think your awesome thing is the one like I, I, I definitely wanted to talk about with you because it's the thing that I think you're known for, at least getting a lot of traction with on the internet. Um, you're a big Viner. Uh, physically, I am a large Viner. Um, <laughs> I do Vine. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I, I love making six second looping videos on Vine and uh, I've had a lot of fun doing it and exploring um, how creative you can be in that short amount of time. Because uh, that's about all the amount of time that people can usually handle my humor. So, <laughs> so what what attracted you? Now, you're not just like a social media guy. I mean, you do stuff here locally. I know with WPXI. I don't even know what all you do because it seems like I, you say about me, but I feel like you're everywhere. You keep popping up. You're on Scarehouse videos. You're on this. You, uh, you're, you're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the run, man. Well, you're uh, but you're generally a media guy. I am. I work uh, full time. I work for WPXI TV, and I do. Um, uh, I'm their entertainment VJ, so I do a lot of their entertainment coverage, uh, mm -hmm. as well as a lot of the social media stuff going on um, for the web. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's it's great. I also have done some stuff in the past with Scarehouse, um, which kind of ties into what I do now because Scott Simmons, who owns the Scarehouse, was originally a producer at Channel 11 WPXI, and uh, I interned under him many moons ago, and uh, he... He's brilliant, so he has brought me in to do um, some things, uh, some video work for them, some social media stuff for them, and so I, I've I've loved doing that as well. And um, you know, I, I've got to hang with Kate, Miss Miss Dutters, quite a bit uh, because of the Scarehouse ties, which is great. And now the, uh, the awesome cast. I hope someday you'll have me back, even though I was super late uh, to, to the party. Uh, so that I can hang out with uh, with all of you as a group. So awesome. yeah, I've done all of those things, and I am kind of a social media guy. I do love, uh, you know, engaging and 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 having a good time with that. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So so what and we did find uh, the 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 video. Um, this is one of my earliest actual like like looks at the scare house when I was first looking at it. Here's you in a in a rap video from a few <laughs> years ago um, about zombies. Oh yeah, that's uh, that is a, and that's what I love about. The, and I'm not going to make this a promo about the Scarehouse. I'm not on their payroll, but I will say that uh, I had, uh, you know, Pittsburgh is the zombie capital of the world. I love zombies, and um, you know, I'm particular about the kind of zombies that I like. But whatever, you know, I'm not going to be that elitist on on this show. Um, but th so I, I wrote this this rap song with my best friend Matt about zombies and said, hey, you know, Scott, would you be interested in doing a music video like supplying the, the zombies? And he said, I'll do you one better. I will. I'll produce this music video. So on a very hot July day, we spent uh, we spent a long time shooting a, <laughs> a zombie music video. So uh, it's. It's pretty fun. It, it's um, the song's called "Walking Dead Apocalypse," and it came out before "Walking Dead" came out. Um, but well, well, you know, whatever. What are you gonna do? <laughs> awesome. Uh, and say so back to uh, what you're doing, the vines over here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so what what kind of got you on the platform? Well, the very first vine that I ever saw, and, and, and for those, I don't know if everybody who w watches is familiar. With Vine, you're all superior as far as uh, technology goes, and and it, sometimes those like apps like that seem like they're for like tweens. So <laughs> I'm sure um, some of your people are like I'm avoiding Vine like the plague. Um, but Vine is a six second. You can record six second videos that loop, and um, and it's it's actually owned by Twitter, and it integrates really well with Twitter. Um, and it's kind of in the vein of the old um, GIFs, GIFs. GIFs, GIFs, uh-oh. You can pronounce uh, them how you want. I, I, I'm <laughs> we have an open GIF, GIF policy on this show. <laughs> I, I do both. I, I, I do both almost like I do soda and pop. 
<laughs> like a pop soda soda pop i you know whatever part of the country you're from um but it's kind of in that vein where it's just those the the, the looping thing so the first and not to take up all your time but no. the first vine that i ever saw was the very first day vine launched and it was dick van dyke uh opening fan mail his wife who's a bit younger she's like um uh very social media savvy did a vine of him just opening fan mail and it kept repeating and it, i was like what's wrong with dick van dyke he keeps saying the same thing over and over and over again i didn't realize that it was a looping video and so uh, i clicked on it and i saw what the app was started exploring and found that um after watching everybody kind of do six second videos of their food or of their kid or of a dog um i was like i bet i could try to pull off six second sketches and uh, that's how it started for me from day one i was like i think i could do a setup and a punchline that's about all you have time for it's just like really really quick so that's how it started for me for fun and kind of as a creative outlet because um i love my job and um just yeah absolutely love my job i don't always get to do the really wacky and zany stuff uh so this was kind of like a lot of pent-up creativity and zany stuff that i that was floating around in my mind uh, and so I found an outlet through Vine to do it. Um, one thing I've been amazed uh, uh, seeing your Vines come across uh, is there's a lot of props. <laughs> <laughs> like there's 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 a lot of costumes I've noticed. There's a lot of stuff going on. I've seen a banana outfit a few times, sure, um, sure. you know, uh, for instance. Um, I, 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 I'm trying to find it, but, um, I saw one when I was looking up, putting stuff in the doc yesterday for this show of you in a giant cereal bowl. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> like, like this kind of stuff. Yeah. How does this happen? Like, do you yeah. have a vine budget or something? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I should. <laughs> I should honestly get better at budgeting, I guess. Um, <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, sky's the limit. Um, I don't, I'm not really a partier, uh, so I don't really go out a lot. So I take that money that most of you waste on going out and drinking with your friends <laughs> and I apply it towards 260 gallon bowls of cereal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so with that one, so again, that kind of falls under, I started doing these sketches and I'm thinking, I want to like, I want to think of the most outrageous thing in the world that, that I can think of and see if I can bring it to life and do it not digitally, but do it, you know, um, with practical effects. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I filled a, a, a kid's swimming pool with 260 gallons of, and, you know, there's like, there's like tricks to the trade. It wasn't all Lucky Charms. Uh, <laughs> But 13 boxes of Lucky Charms later. And then I always get the, anyway. So yeah, yes. Yeah. I spent some money on that one. But um, the props and stuff, I get a kick out of making a lot of them. So I have this giant taco costume that I've danced around in. Uh, and I, you know, I made that. Most of the costumes I will make out of like foam and, and spray paint. And they only work for six seconds and only shot like straight on. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone would be like, that's a mattress pad. Yep, there it is. There's the uh, the infamous bowl of cereal that um, that I was like, I would love to just be sitting in a giant bowl. Because it's every kid's dream, right? You, you want to, as much Lucky Charms as you can handle. And I'm like, I'm an adult. Might as well start <laughs> living the dream, uh, you know. Um, so that was that was the thought there and i got a lot of flack for that you know it's like every comment because you know the internet trolls they love to find anything to say so it was obviously like america or you know what a wasteful son of a you know whatever I don't, is there swearing on this i don't know I, but i wouldn't have anyway light light <laughs> light yeah light. No, i don't I, I don't really i try not to cuss i'm very family friendly <laughs> Well, was it the HP commercial now? That that whole commercial was all Vine. It was, and 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 uh, I know a number of those people. Which is it? That's another thing that's been really weird about Vine for me, has been watching people gain success and fame strictly from producing six second videos. Those were all Viners that have legitimately rose to fame strictly through the Vine app, which wow. is crazy to me. Uh, and um, and they, that that was those vines were actually shot for that commercial, okay. um, but 
uh, but yeah, all of them have uh, success through Vine only. And, and you're seeing a lot more of that integrated. Like um, a friend of mine, Jerome, he he signed a deal with Ellen. He's like her personal Viner. Like he goes out and he does like Vines uh, in Los Angeles all the time for the Ellen DeGeneres show. And like um, you, you see them on the red car, people on the red carpet now doing six second Vines. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that's been really crazy. And um, a lot of doors have opened up for a lot of people to, to do. And th the app is relatively young. I mean, it, it started in, in January of last year. And so we're not even, you know, it's, it's a year and a half old, um, a little more than that old. And it's, it's crazy to see the success that people are having. I have friends who I will legitimately talk to that say they've quit their day job to do vines. Like that, that's their full-time gig right now. No, it's just doing vines. How does that work? Cause what, what is, what are the opportunities other than maybe exposure? Like you say someone's quit their sure. job to do, do vine. Like yeah. what, how does that work? Like, are, are they finding sponsorships somehow mm -hmm. through this? Yeah. So, um, not to get too, too crazy about all, all of it, but, of um, I've done some sponsored vines and I've, they've been really huge opportunities for me. I'm really picky about the stuff that I'll do. Um, but some people will take any opportunity that, that kind of comes their way and the, so I'll, I'll lay this out there. And again, if you, at any time you want to cut me off or you want to start talking about fine, fine. Fine. we can do it. That right there was one of the sponsored vines that I had done. Um, mm -hmm. That's me and Donald Duck together at Disneyland. And so I was approached by Disney to do a campaign called the Disney side campaign. They flew me to Los Angeles. They, they let me do vines in Disneyland. They um, put me up. They made me uh, a part of their social media all-star event going on there. And I'm like, me? Like, <laughs> this guy, this chubby kid from Pittsburgh? You're going to fly out there and let me vine with the mouse? All right. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, no problem. Um, right there, they celebrated Donald's birthday on, uh, on Vine and on Twitter with um, – quacking jokes with rob johnston which is i'm such a huge fan of disney and such a huge fan of of the work uh you know through the years obviously everybody you know has I either has their own feelings about disney or but it's a huge part of your your childhood and um so to be there and and be a part of what they were doing and um it felt really awesome and um so i did that i did i actually did 15 vines for them and they're time releasing them throughout the year nice. uh so that's that's pretty awesome um and I've done I've done some vines for like Klondike bars, <laughs> and uh, I did um, I did some for Target, um, and so it, it's cool. You, so you you get these opportunities, and so what? And I'm just gonna be honest. This is like you know kind of insider baseball, I guess. But a lot of companies are seeing we can throw this this amount of money. Okay, so like we're talking like thousands or tens of thousands of dollars for a six second video for some of these people. In fact, um, it was released that Nash Greer, who was this like tween who uh, does, you know, he's a heartthrob. He's got these beautiful blue eyes and anything he says, the little girls go crazy for on Vine. He's been paid $25,000 per Vine to do like, to hold like a Sonic, like Route 44 drink and be like, like ladies, you know, you know that kind of a thing. <laughs> Twenty five grand for a six second video that's shot on your phone. That's that sounds insane, right? Well, the reach that this company gets, millions and millions and millions of people watching it, um, and they have to pay nothing for production. They have to pay nothing to have it seeded through these companies that do viral seeding for like YouTube and all that stuff. They quite literally say, like, come up with an idea, kid. The kid comes up with an idea and they're like, <laughs> write him a check. And it's like millions of views. And like all these little girls are like, now I need to get a Route 44 drink. Mm. Um, it, so <laughs> it, it's it's very interesting to see how that's happening. And people go, go crazy. Like, why would you even think that that's – because – if you could see the budget that these companies are spending on the pre-roll on a, on a YouTube video mm -hmm. for production and for star quality and all that, so, you know, star power, it's, it's crazy. So they get these social media influencers. So that's how it's been working. They get deals. They do. Um, some people have been doing appearances. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Seth Rogen had an awesome tweet not too long ago that he was like, the fact that Vine Famous is even a thing is, and I think he used some expletives. 
<laughs> but just the fact that it's like it, it is becoming a thing to be Vine famous or um, Instagram famous because I'm saying these things about Vine because that's my personal experience. But like, if you could see the amount of money being poured to these celebrities to just do a 140 character tweet, it's insane. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, the same thing with uh, with with Instagram, and um, I don't I don't know about Facebook as much because I think everybody just pays Facebook for reach. <laughs> <laughs> that fleecing beast. <laughs> oh God, the day it goes to MySpace, I'm gonna be so happy. Ooh, <laughs> that company. Anyway. <laughs> Awesome. You mentioned Instagram, and you're somebody that's been there at the beginning. Um, we've seen, of course, Instagram doing 15 second videos. They have hyperlapse stuff like this. Um, mm -hmm. What has that done anything to Vine? Uh, like, what as 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 I guess an OG Viner, uh, mm -hmm. what what is your impression of what Instagram's doing over there? Which it seems to be the only other game in town as far as this kind of short form content to moment. me, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the moment, and so. At first, whenever so Vine was doing really well, I think they had like, and I say really well, but for a startup, uh, they had like 40 million users or something mm -hmm. like that within the first few months, and um, you know it was like the top downloaded app, and you know it had a lot of momentum, and they were kind of building their own little star base of of Viners doing press and all this stuff, and then Instagram uh, released the update uh, with video, and everyone went. <gasps> it's the end of Vine, like Vine is dead. And, you know, it's like started playing like the funeral march, you know, uh, for all these people that have invested so much time in six second videos. And what we saw happen and what I saw happen is Instagram didn't really embrace, um, like the Instagram community did not really embrace video the way that Vine videos are, 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 are viewed. If you go to the popular page on Instagram, you have and if you have videos it would be something to the effect of um you know like beautiful sunset and time lapse of like people on the beach and like beautiful images there isn't really sketch comedy or um uh youtube clips on Va on instagram as much at least it's been my experience whereas vine that is, if you go to that popular page it is strictly going to be um comedy or like you know um whatever's popular on YouTube at the moment, six seconds of like a baby snickering uh, or a, you know, a, a car falling in a ditch. I don't know. Whatever's popular at that moment on, 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 on um, YouTube, you got a lot of people stealing it and putting it on Vine. But um, so I don't think that it necessarily stopped it. I do know that it, it serves its own purpose and you, and you'll see a lot of vines actually show up on Instagram. Like I'm seeing a lot of uh, people posting their vines to Instagram, but. I don't think it. I don't think it had the effect that everybody thought it would, because Instagram's its own community, um, almost like you know Vine didn't take down YouTube, but you're seeing Vines on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I've noticed like Vine compilations over there. Yeah, that, and that's one of the big things I've noticed is the compilations. I mean, mm -hmm. sixty seconds gets you ten Vines. Exactly. Exactly gets you ten Vines, and they can. I mean, they churn those things out. Um, and I, I, I'm in a few of those compilations and I'll still get text messages from like, like people <laughs> like aunts and uncles that are like, Hey, is this you? Like Susie at work has been passing this compilation around and it looks like you <laughs> dancing on the Wright brothers memorial. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's, that is me. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see that. It's also interesting to see all the Viners going after the YouTube people that have monetized those, uh, those videos. Um, and how do you break up? Like, so yeah, you're right. You know, to, uh, you, you do 60 seconds, you get 10 vines. And, uh, how do you split those profits, you know, all those different ways in the video? Um, so that's been interesting to watch, but, um, yeah, it, it, it's, I think that they all kind of go hand in hand. All three of those platforms kind of, um, are separate entities and I don't think they're going to shut each other down, but I don't know. That's did, was that the question? I can't remember. <laughs> well, we, were, we were just talking. Yeah, we, we were just talking about like the offshoot since and what what's sure. happened. Awesome, sure. awesome. So uh, no, no, thanks. And I know it was kind of a long conversation, but I, I love picking your brain about what's going on with Vine because Vine is something I never got right. Well, this yeah, 
it's it's crazy. They mm-hmm. just did an update just now. Sorry, did not mean to cut you off. If you no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> um, they just did an update where now you can upload from your camera roll. The mm-hmm. cool thing about Vine for me at the beginning was that everyone, the the appeal to me was that everyone's on the same platform. That you have you you were not able to upload to Vine. You ha- you had to shoot it in camera. Mm-hmm. So when when you saw something, you had to shoot it, and you um you were restricted, and it cr- caused a lot of creativity. Caused caused the art of stop motion to come back. Yes. And I think especially when you couldn't even save off a vine for a while. Mm-hmm. Like the, at first you just had you had to leave it up or you lost it. Now you can can't you store or you, you used to be able to store mm-hmm. in your in the Vine app. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you can save drafts or you can you can um, save it right to your camera roll, which is which is great. All of these things are great, but it makes going back in my Vine feed really funny because you go to the very bottom of my page and like yeah, it's like really bad looking. Like, of course it's bad. Like they didn't have any of these options to like edit or add music <laughs> or anything. So I had to be creative in, in mm-hmm. ways to do it. So um, yeah, all these new school kids, boo to you. Yeah. Um, but but it's, it is interesting that, that everyone was saying, okay, now it's going to be a mini YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know, what's going to happen? A lot of people were angry about the fact that they're uploading because that's what they loved about not, about Vine was that you couldn't do it. Um, but you know, people found ways. They they found hacks and ways to, uh, you know, little apps that'll allow you to upload. So people will find a way. It's kind of like Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. It will find a way, or whatever he says. Up there. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks, Rob, for for uh, letting us into the world of fine. Yeah, sorry, uh, <laughs> it was a long, long conversation. Oh, no problem, no problem. And by the way, if you've been listening to audio on this, guys, uh, afterwards on MP3 or stuff, I recommend jumping in uh, and checking out at least the first, uh, I guess, 20 minutes or so of this uh, video-wise, because we, we're showing a lot of the vines, a lot of the examples uh, as we're going. Um, and if you want to check out any of the stuff you're not on there, vine.co slash Rob Johnston is his vine. Uh, definitely go through there. You'll be entertained for a while because he's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> definitely the, 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 the like most bizarre stuff the most visual material i've had to throw throw on behind a guest while we're talking with them so and you can fit a lot of it because it's six seconds long oh yeah. exactly just like oh just scroll to the next one just scroll to the next one i know it's going to be him you know exactly. yeah, um, yeah 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 perfect perfect um and 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 all over google too um so oh. awesome uh chilla what is your awesome thing of the week my awesome thing of the week is not such an awesome thing, but it's an interesting thing that I'm surprised has taken media by storm and everyone is originally just started jumping to conclusions on how all of the celebrity photos, obviously <laughs> naked, leaked onto the internet. And um, of, of course, at, at first it was, it all came, they all got them from, from iCloud, which is true. But you know there was this big security breach, and and Apple left the keys <laughs> under the mat, and there was all these problems. And at, it's actually interesting as time goes on, and Apple's helping the FBI, and all these people are upset, and it's it's becoming more. Everybody was targeted. Um, there there was a I wouldn't call it a glitch. It was just how find my iPhone was designed there, there didn't seem to be kind of a three strikes you're out with your user ID and password um, and so so you could brute force it's, it seems as though you could brute force find my iPhone to then figure out what the person's account information was and then go in and grab their their iCloud photo backup um, but it's also interesting because like I said as more information, is found out they're saying that the the way they actually got them all so quickly was by using forensics tools that are supposed to only be available to the police but the company that makes the forensic tools doesn't actually do a check so jeez when you think when you think about this if you don't want someone to see you naked there it is don't take pictures <laughs> of bring it naked <laughs> And don't store them on your dang cloud. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, and I'm sure there's some people that didn't even realize their iCloud was on or something crazy like that. That's what their claim. It, it's interesting too because there's a lot of celebrities complain or claiming that photos aren't them, and then you have the crazies out there saying, "No, I can prove it. Look, this mole is on the upper left hand shoulder, <laughs> and the earrings in that picture. Oh, the that earrings, can all be the photoshopped. Keyboard, I'm the sure. video music awards and." Like like the the people doing the forensics when they when they claim it's not them, Kirsten Dunst I think got the FBI involved immediately. 
Um, if you remembered when this happened to um, Scarlett Johansson, I think she had she, she ended up helping get someone put in jail. But um, I mean, it it amazes me a that people are so obsessed with this, but it also amazes me that the the celebrity is is so astonished that someone got these photos when they stored them online. So unbelievable. So th so there's there's a how to video for you how to keep your data secure. <laughs> and and like like you have to wonder like people that are so in the in the mainstream media because one of the things they were saying too is is they they targeted them through password resets. Um so if you're a celebrity and and things like your birthday <laughs> and your your mother's maiden name, uh, you're going to be able to figure that stuff out pretty easily with yeah. That's with on everybody's all kinds Wikipedia page. Stuff on the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I know I for some things, I, I I do try to pick things that don't change. Like I don't like to do what is your favorite food because sometimes my favorite food changes. So um, so what do you do? <clears throat> now that I, I'm asking, to I do. <laughs> Some of, some of the examples I would give of what I would do. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> like when it's like um, the city you got married in, I may pick the city I met my spouse in or like Which kinda, was? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. sorry. Um, no, but get those photos, man. We're going to get them photos. <laughs> You're going to get Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but I, I actually pick – pick I do try to pick things that aren't going to change because if they do change, then I you get stuck. But I actually had that happen with work. I, I actually called in to get my password reset, and they asked me what my favorite food was, and <laughs> I answered wrong. And I'm like, no, really, it's me, I swear. Um, but I, I just I, – I try to pick things that, A, aren't going to change, but I also try to, to switch them up. Like I, I would never pick what city were you born in. Um, yeah. All that. Kind of, I mean, look, I, look up Facebook, and you can figure all that out. Where, where did you go to high school? Like yeah. that kind of stuff. I mean, all that, all the security questions are becoming public knowledge. So yeah. you, you're you're going to have to pick something that's either not easily found or alter alter the question. Well, answer. here's my question. And then, is that on you to figure that out, or is that on the security company and say, "Hey, we should give better options"? Uh, either or. I mean, if you go if you go on a site and you see questions that are obviously blatantly a, a something that some kind of information that's available, mm -hmm. I mean, pick a, either pick a different question or you're going to have to alter the question. Yeah, I just I agree with the security measures, you know, like like spice them up a bit. But man, you've got all of that on the line: your career, your per, mm -hmm. your persona. You've got all of this stuff. And you make those decisions. Like it, for me, trickling back to the fact that, like, don't take those pictures and yeah. don't store them on your phone. Like, get a <laughs> like. Okay, fine. Get like a Polaroid camera. Like, if you really need to do it, like, get a Polaroid and maybe a messenger pigeon or something. Like, don't <laughs> digitally send these pictures. Like, like, how many times does it have to happen? Oh, okay, Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, she must never have heard of Scarlett Johansson. It was so many years ago. <laughs> or like. Or or or, or um, Haley Williams from Paramore. She actually tweeted a picture of herself and said that she got hacked. But it was just like a mistake. She just hit the wrong button and tweeted it out to everybody. A naked picture of herself. Like that's don't take those pictures if you don't like. Oh, people. Right, and what? don't get me wrong. I, I I think it's wrong for the for how far people are going with it and, and, and that kind of thing. And, and people do need their privacy as well. Yeah. But I but to, to to the point of just. Don't take the pictures, or like you said, get a Polaroid, or I don't know. It, it just it just amazes me. I, we're gonna get stats. You watch. We're gonna get stats a week from now that like these are the most viewed pictures ever on the internet. Yeah. That it that it has more to torrent downloads than Game of Thrones <laughs> all combined. Like, of course. Like it's just I'm amazed at the publicity it's getting. Yeah. And 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 I would not be surprised if some of these people are not doing it 
specifically, you know, not th in this case, because obviously they've tracked it with the FBI and everything. Mm -hmm. But when it's like leaked photos or like Nicki Minaj the other day with her wardrobe malfunction at the VMAs, like, give me a break, man. That stuff's so set up so that they have something <laughs> to talk about later. Now, I know Jennifer Lawrence doesn't need it, but like some of these other people, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> so, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, well, I'm glad, yeah, yeah, I kind of like surprised when this became a tech story uh yesterday i'm like well okay i guess this is something we're talking about <laughs> well you know, i i just find it interesting that like the first thing that to blame was oh apple security flaw mm -hmm. and one and i know i mean we hear it with like the, the the security issues that target had and i heard that home depot had one recently um but but it's just like everyone jumps to the conclusion that it's that it's some some fault of the technology and, and in this case to me Yes, they should have had some kind of better policy to lock the accounts out, but then you'd have these people complaining that it's too hard to reset a password. Um, so, I don't know. I, I think it's ridiculous the publicity it's getting, but it's definitely it's been the it's been it's been the top of the news stories for the last mm -hmm. two days in, the, in, in uh, a lot of the tech sections. So, so, I, so guess, I guess I guess there's a little bit of a good side to this. Um, Juggalo John in the chat is telling me that the fappening has raised a bunch of money because of the pictures for cancer awareness. <laughs> the fat bucket. One, challenge. I just said the fappening on this show, um, and they raised money for it. So yeah. at least there's that. It's, it's rivaling the ice bucket challenge right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a hundred million. <laughs> And counting. Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, anyways, uh, so uh, hey, my awesome thing of the week, not nearly as scary or uh, quite as interesting. This was personally interesting to me. Um, earlier this week, I saw, or uh, late last week, maybe, I saw um, Andy Quayle actually tweet out that Google Glass got Pandora. And I'm really big on Pandora. I subscribe to it. I uh, plan to for a while. I uh, got it installed, testing with it today. I'm, I'm on my, like we talked about last week, Chilla. Uh, the, I'm tr day one of trying to wear mm -hmm. it a bit more. Cool. Um, so, so I got it. And I got right here on screencast. If you guys are on video, I can go, okay, glass. Um, this is interesting. Listen with, and I got two options, Pandora. Oh, no, I crashed. <laughs> what compass that's not right <laughs> all right we'll try that again send nudes to the world oh no <laughs> that's how it's gonna happen <laughs> the, well, the scariest thing i i'm afraid like i i'm just waiting for the like person that actually took pictures and sent them to google of themselves taking going to the bathroom i can't get out of the compass guys <laughs> what is happening oh, man so do you have the actual glasses uh, yeah, I do. I, 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 no, I have them zip tied to my own glasses because I didn't have 500 yeah. bucks to get a new. Uh, what? What is happening? But generally, you, you can OK glass when I don't screw it up and go to Compass because I'm trying to do a show at the same time. And uh, here we go. OK glass. It'll catch up. Uh, listen with Pandora. Nirvana. Sorry, so, Sorg, I typed all that in on my iPhone first, and I'm, I'm already listening to. <laughs> yes, but I could be doing I could be doing the laundry and not have to touch anything. It's, it's weird today. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting. So, I don't think I'm on the right Wi-Fi for this down here. Um, but that's what I was doing. Like it was it was on. Cool. I had the little earbud in. Uh, this little guy, and uh, it was it's it's another way for me to do it because typically I'd be like walking around with my phone in my pocket playing Pandora or a podcast or something. See, mm -hmm. I, and it. it I, I, I'm I'm huge on this technology because just having a kid and and always having two hands, mm -hmm. like I'm not always free. Like even like I found myself and and I, it kind of upsets me that right. I, I'm hoping it doesn't do this throughout the beta or in the in the newer iPhone. But the um and it's probably gonna go, oh no it's plugged into something else. Um as long as your iPhone's plugged in and you say hey Siri, um she'll respond. So like I had Christopher in my arms the other night, I was feeding him, Carla was out and I'm like, oh, I got to remind Carla something when she gets home. I said, hey, Siri, at nine o'clock tonight, remind me to tell Carla about blah, 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 blah. And it took the note right there. So like that whole hands free thing, I'm finding like with the Xbox one and the hey, Siri, that kind of stuff is 
is coming in huge for me. I can only imagine what it does for maybe a people, someone with a disability. And now that now Siri is doing this long form question that, or long form, yeah, long form question that I'm, everything I say is going into Siri. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I cancel that. Um, and, that's, and it's getting to that point where they're getting more apps that I use. There's more reasons for me to use this ju- just in the receiving tweets and emails throughout the day, which is nice. It's hands free. I can look up, like, you know, if I'm doing something around the house or if I'm doing, you know, I, I even just working at my desk, it's nice to just nod your head and I get the message, you know, and, and I'm still kind of in touch with things that are going on. I mean, I've been on this and got received like a customer service email for, for a, a, a digital download, you know, and I know I can hop on it, you know, right away. Um, that's not a problem. You know, that that's, I want to be in tune with something like that. Is there a Vine app for glass? I don't believe <laughs> there is. Like <laughs> well, I, I, I tried out the, uh, the glasses and uh, my friend, she, she uses them and she's, I guess, excuse my ignorance on how it works, but um, I guess either programmed it or talked to it or it like brought it to a point where she can take pictures when she blinks, like as many yes. times as she mm-hmm. blinks. She yes. can... And like, I was, I was watching it. I'm kind of like, you know, the screen. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I, um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it was cool. It was a cool experience. And I, I actually, um, I agree with Chilla. I think like being able to like, you know, with people with disabilities or be hands free, it, it's opening up a whole new world. I just didn't know about seeing video that close to my my face. Uh, just no. yeah, I could see. I mean, yeah, I could see that being a problem over time. And, and obviously, we have no clue what that's going to do to your mm-hmm. eyesight over a prolonged period. Well, mm-hmm. I've had it on for a while, so uh, <laughs> although you know, I hadn't <laughs> worn it for a bit, and I've immediately put it on, put the earbud in today. And was looking up and I was chewing gum at the time. I think that was part of it. And you feel this. I had the same thing with my brow when I first wore it because I'm wearing it over my glasses, like the secondary thing over my on my nose. Um, And you get these weird pains because you have extra just weight on a different part of your face. And uh, and I returned to that like I had to get used to it again. You know, Um, So, so you can't just say glass aspirin. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I almost wanted yeah. to. No, I definitely almost wanted well, there to. Was, there was a study done a long time ago where um, they took some kind of lenses that would actually flip what you were seeing upside down. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure this was like way, way back in the day where they, when they were trying to learn more about corrective lenses and things like that in the human eye. And they, they, took, they took the lenses and they would invert the picture or, or, or not necessarily the picture, they would invert your vision. And so you would see everything upside down. And what they found over time was that the human brain, after like a couple weeks of wearing the glasses, would reflip the image. And your, your mind would actually flip the image so you were seeing correctly. Mm-hmm. The problem was when they took the glasses off the person, a lot <laughs> the of children were people, running on the ceiling. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> a lot of people's vision never returned mm-hmm. right side up, or it, it, it took exponentially longer than it did for the human mind to fix it the first time. Oh like if it, took, if it took two weeks for the human mind to flip it, correct? Let's just say it took months and months and months to, to reflip it. And like I said, Can some people imagine? fall upside down for the rest of their lives. So, so there, there are things like that that could happen. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what. We're all guinea pigs. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't use technology. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but, you know. Um, so with that, hey, I want to touch. Well, first, before we get to the maybe I shouldn't put this before the ad, but uh, uh, John did send over an article about that Jennifer Lawrence fappening thing. They raised over five thousand dollars for cancer uh, research. <laughs> how, how did they do that? Uh, do, do, they do, released do, the do. pictures for <laughs> Kelly, top top fundraiser for Peace at CF's Safeway Foundation one million dollar matching grant challenge, according to their donation page. Uh, they've raised five thousand two hundred seventy-three, um, according to Gawker.com, as of uh, today at eleven fifteen a.m. Uh, so there you go, there you go. They must have a donate button. See, 
See, there, you know what? We you, you got to tell that to Jennifer Lawrence that like while it might be humiliating for you, that <laughs> some good has been done. I'm sure she'd pay more than five thousand dollars to have those back. <laughs> and, but well, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Is this, oh wow. Well, wow. anyways, I, I'm sorry. I was just reading the rest of the article. Um, That's ridiculous. So there's that. Hey, so let's give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway at this point. How is <laughs> this the dirtier of the of the shows throughout the night? We still have the Mayhem show <laughs> right. to go tonight. Who knows? Uh, SliceonBroadway.com. If you're in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, uh, here, uh, right down Broadway Avenue, right down from where we're at here in Sorgatron Media Studios, Mayhem Studios. Um, or now their new location in Carnegie, PA, if you're heading out to and from the airport, if you're visiting town, you're going to see that exit for Carnegie, PA or Car Carnegie, depending on how you like to do that. Um, so just hop off there down on Main Street. They got a brand new location. I've been hearing great things. Rick Seebeck's been there, guys. Ooh. I don't know if he's even been to this location. So maybe he just doesn't do beach view. I don't know. I don't know. He does porch <laughs> parties. I know he's all about the porch parties. Um, but no, go check it out. SliceOnBroadway.com. They've been supplying, uh, making sure we feed our, our, our in-studio guests here for several months now. Big supporters of the podcast. So we want to support them right back. If you're in Pittsburgh, please go check them out. Good stuff. Um, so with that, we got a couple items and, you know, uh, actually... Probably about 15 minutes on this, guys. Uh, one, I want to touch base on this with you, Chilla. You, one year ago, about, uh, you had in studio here the Leap Motion uh, Control, which was, uh, for a review, it's a little unit that you sit, like, by your keyboard, and it can see your hands in a 3D space to move them on applications or just moving your mouse, if I recall. Um, yeah, and I, you can use it. Yeah, you can use it to be a pointer, and as you pushed your finger mm -hmm. towards your monitor or towards whatever was beyond the leap. So they, it, would, it would mimic a click. They recently announced a, a uh, head-mounted upgrade that's going to help it become a VR controller. So think about, typically, you have your, your headset, right, mm -hmm. for VR, Oculus Rift, or if you have the uh, Google Cardboard thing going on, you can't see your hands, right? And I don't know mm -hmm. if it's compatible with Google Cardboard. I don't want to put that out there. Uh, you, you can't see your hands. You have to use a controller usually. It, you, like, you have what's happening on, on, on your face, and that's it. Now, ideally, you can have this sleep motion thing on your desk, which sees your hands in a 3D space and could project those onto your character in 3D. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, the, I'm worried that it's not accurate enough because that's what I found over time was it picked up a lot of things and it was just it was awkward to use a lot because you didn't have tactile feedback um it, it it's a great concept and maybe with the vr i don't know i, I don't know I, I wasn't i think the optics need fixed in it i think there's but think it's come. it's a first step right? yeah it's definitely a first step leap is is a cheaper thing mm-hmm so it's a first step to at least get that extra dimension. Maybe we can have a Leap 2.0, just like the Kinect has turned into a higher fidelity version that you can do some pretty amazing stuff with. Um, why, you know, Leap 2.0 could do the same thing for, for this kind of mechanism. I would agree with that. Awesome. Awesome. Um, how much are Leaps these days? That's a good question. Like, what, what was it when you picked it up? I got it. As in like an early adopter thing, mm -hmm. and I want to say it. I got it for like eighty bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Um, and the, the the mount that's adding on to this is only twenty dollars, according to this. Of course, if you have an Oculus Rift, which only a few people have SDKs <coughs> right now. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, Leap, Leap's SDK is open, and they actually have their um, own app. I mean, store. I mean SDK uh, kit for the oh, Oculus, okay. the, the head unit and everything. So, um, so it's, it's now it's it's seventy nine ninety nine right now. It's not bad. That's not bad for what it does. I think um, we love drones on this show, right, guys? Um, oh, yeah. we, we've talked about Amazon Prime having their drone delivery system that they've been testing. Uh, can't wait for the swarms of drones to be uh, uh, coming over Pittsburgh. Uh, well, Google X is on us in Australia, and they have their own version, which uh, I believe was called X Wing. Did I get that right? Project Wing. I'm sorry. It's a Google X project. Say, I think would be a lot of so use that. their drone, if you can see the video here, and it's, uh, the video is over at time.com. We did tweet this earlier in the week over at awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, twitter.com slash awesomecast, or if you're on our Facebook or Google Plus, uh, it should be on there as well. But it's a, 
I love I love the item. The drone floats over, picks up the item on a tether, and then drops it on the tether. And in the example, <laughs> they're bringing dog food to a farmer in the outback. Uh, <laughs> Chilla, do you have thoughts on this? Is it more cost effective? I have no idea. <laughs> so what happens if, if some, say some kid shoots it down with a BB gun? Yeah. <laughs> one, so, uh, that's so one Rover's, good question. Rover's not eating? Yeah, we're, we're, worried about, we're worried about photos leaking and these people are going to be <laughs> stealing massive amounts of goods by shooting down small drones. <laughs> with a pellet gun. Yeah, pellet you know, gun. They, can't, they, they can't trace the ballistics of a pellet gun. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't. I guess is it is this one of those things? Hey, let's see if we can do this. Well, it's Google X projects, so that's every project they have, right. isn't it? And but I'm guessing, what is their what is the thought? Like, is this a prototype to model for something bigger, or to that they're going to use this for something else? I, to do something just because you can do it is cool. I'm, I'm guessing there's more of a reason behind this. Are they are they using it to get to places that cars maybe necessarily can't? I don't know. Is it really? Is this really a consumer type tech? Is this something they really want to target? A consumer for the things that they're t- for the things that they're testing. Uh, this um this time article is very light on information, unfortunately. Um, but they've had uh, over more than thirty successful test flights. Traveled um up to uh more than a half a mile. Really? Uh, <laughs> what's that going to do in the outback? Right. Uh, it, it's flown between 130 and uh, 195 feet, well above the houses and trees. Uh, delivered items such as water bottles and first aid kits. Hey, hey, Sorg! I read an article saying it's a much safer way to send nudes than text messages. <laughs> <laughs> on a, and you just clip a Polaroid on there. There you exactly. go. There you go. <laughs> until until some until some TMZ reporter shoots it down with a bet. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, silly. I mean, and, 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 and like you said, like a half mile. Like, I, have you ever had those little helicopter ones? Mm-hmm. They like run for like ten minutes on the battery, and then they just drop. It's not like a slow descent to ground. Like, this thing- could you imagine like driving? Like, I, I had a hard enough time getting here for on Route Twenty Eight because people <laughs> can't drive their cars. Imagine these like drones falling from the sky with like Amazon goods, like with like like his and her Crocs uh, falling on your car. Like, it's ridiculous. Eh. Wow. Um, <laughs> our friends over at the hardware store, are cool uh, co-working, and uh, they work on crowdfunding as well, uh, space up there in Allentown here in Pittsburgh. Um, I, I saw a message uh, earlier this week that uh, they said, hey, we're going to start using these. Um, this is the Bubble Cam. It's a live 360 degree video with no blind spots. Oh my. Now that's cool. That's cool. It look, as it says here in the Gizmodo article, it looks kind of like a Pokeball, but it's actually an impressive HD camera it, capable. It of actually it, it kind of looks a little bit like what's on top of the Google cars. You've ever seen those things mm-hmm. drive by with for mm-hmm. Google Maps? Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. And actually, here's uh, if you're on the video here with us. Uh, again, this is Gizmodo. Uh, it's called the Bubble B U B L. If you're looking for it, um, but they have a little bit of a kind of a VR thing you know we were doing photo spear and chill i did another photo spear while i was up in new york of the mountains um while i was up there uh i could see this is if you want a full-on i could see like getting these and offering this as a service to get people onto uh uh indoor street view mm-hmm. for instance uh but that could be fun that could be a lot of fun if it can do live like i'm presuming i have to look through this it's available for 579 dollars, so that's kind of up mm-hmm. there um, it does have, they're even working on Oculus Rift integration and 3D capabilities. If this streams live, like I can put this, you know, say when we did the podcast meet, meet and greets, I can put mm-hmm. that in the middle of the room. And if you're not there, excuse me, if you're not there, you can spin around and see what's up. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Like the, the ultimate drop cam. Now do you, but I'm guessing there has to be some kind of special software or something to be able to view that stream. Yeah, there's like they're showing an app on an iPhone, for instance. Okay. Um, this is definitely something I have this bookmark to check out for hardware later uh, to see see what we could do with it. For sure. Very um, cool. I'm hoping uh, maybe I can maybe I can, uh, we can pick their brains up at the hardware store and see how they're going to be using something like this. 
So it's pretty awesome. Um, I know they do a lot of podcasting up there and green screen. So they got their hands on a lot of stuff. Guys, have you been using hyperlapse in the last week since it came out? I have not. I have two things. Yeah, that, you, what's that? Tell us, tell us, tell us. I want to know. I want to know your thoughts on this. Uh, I love it. It's everything I wanted from functionally uh, in results when we talked about the hyper video hyperlapse thing that Microsoft was doing with a bigger algorithm, Instagram beat him to the punch easily. Um, I've done, let's see if I can pull up a couple of them. If you go to my Instagram, instagram.com slash um, Sorgatron, you'll find it. You'll also find a lot of pictures of equipment and puppies. Um, nice. But I did a couple fun things. Uh, for instance, I was watching Saturday night's uh, main event, as I do. Uh, and I just did like the intro of like, there's Hulk Hogan in the cage uh, talking really fast. You know, it's not really I don't it's just the time lapse, you know, when it when it's used that way. That's not the intention. Uh, and I actually uh, after kind of being inspired by this one, like best commercial uses, I went and stuck. We released a, a, a DVD in the last couple of weeks of Cage Fury for IWC. And I put a good portion of the match in a hyperlapse and stuck it up there with a little bit of an ad about, hey, go check this out, 9999. Most engaged thing I've done on Facebook in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. I don't know if it's hype because of the hashtag hyperlapse. There's another one I did of just like me working at the computer in the coffee shop. Um, just like, and I was just like clicking through some things and, and just kind of running through it. This is a fun thing. Um, where it's most functional is this video traveling to New York countryside where I just had a stick in up to the window as we're driving past the countryside. And it definitely, this is where you, you want to use it because if it's something like this and it doesn't have to be high speed, the point is it's taking away all those shakes, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's making, yeah. it's stabilizing that video. Um, and it's basically throwing away all the trash from your video. Um, now on top of that, there is, of course, there's a lot of commercial uses. Uh, I found an article over from Hootsuite uh, that was like eight brands using hyperlapse by Instagram and what they've been doing with it. Um, if I can find a few examples, like here's one, like for instance, here's a hyperlapse of somebody pulling up through the drive-thru in uh, at Taco Bell. Sure. Okay. Um, sharks at the National Aquarium floating by. Uh, here's a Mountain Dew one where they're rolling. Somebody's walking, following a line. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so if they and here's a question for you. So if they can do this, why doesn't Google and Apple just build this right into, like, how quick is until we see this just built right into the phone app, mm -hmm. like the phone photo app? I think you're gonna see it. If not even like in the next generation of phones, Instagram started it. Facebook mm -hmm. has it. Um, I could see it built into Facebook. I mean, as it is. The app, you don't have to put things on Instagram. The app will ex export video to Facebook, or you can just drop it to the camera roll and do no. whatever you want. And I mm -hmm. presume find it, Rob, right? Yeah. You, know, you can now, and I've seen a lot of them coming up on Vine. What I'm finding interesting is that new love of, um, like I mentioned, stop motion, but also time lapse. Because I feel like while I've always found it to be cool and some people, you know, it's artsy and, you know, a great sunrise or cars zipping by or whatever, uh, clouds oftentimes, and I'm, because I'm a Vine guy, I've seen, because people would manually do time lapse mm -hmm. on Vine and you'd see more of that on, on um, happening. It, it, this is just perfect. And with that stabilizer, it's like having a steady cam. Like, uh, you know, the, you can just you can literally weave in and out and it it's i absolutely love it i think it's amazing i'm wondering and i'll maybe pick your brain sword mm -hmm. is, do you do you download these things use them for a little while and then move on to the next thing because what is the the staying power of an app that does time lapse like this it's very cool at first you test it you have fun with it kids have fun with it but even with vine they've had to do messaging now so the messaging is almost like Snapchat, where it's video messaging. You kind of have to put it on a platform to see this stuff have staying power. There's iJustine. That's what I mean with the Steadicam, like pushing through. It just looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but again, to that to that to that question, do you see this? Do you think this is something that will catch on, well, or it is it something that's just fun for now? Certainly, it is a fun for now. Everybody's trying it. Um, we'll see what it kind of settles into. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that it's being opened up, that it's not just an Instagram thing, I think is going to be helpful. Like I said, you know, your Vine guys are going to be able to use it. YouTubers are going to mm -hmm. be able to use it. Um, it's, it's open for anybody. 
right? Sure. Um, I think this is just one more thing in the toolbox. Mm -hmm. Like when we talked about this, when we saw a uh, early prototype thing from Microsoft a few weeks ago, this is the, yeah, this is the thing I kind of wanted my toolbox to be able to do stuff with. Like the idea was at the time was, okay, maybe I can take a bunch of video like this POV stuff with, with say glass, a GoPro, and I can smooth it out right now. We're kind of stuck with doing it in the phone with the okay. app. I don't know if you, I don't think you can import video into the app and just on iPhone, by the way, too. It's just mm. iOS. Um, yeah, they said they said that there's there's something with Android. They would have to rewrite the accelerometer. Wow. What? However, the accelerometer works in Android. It just just doesn't no. work right. Are you guys Android or iPhone peeps? I'm. I use my daily driver is an iPhone, um, an iPad. But I will tell you one product that I really like. Um, Android or the uh, Samsung makes a. That's the same right here. Um, a full fledged camera, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. kind of very easy point and shoot type device um, with a 21x um, zoom, optical zoom. It's a very, uh, very specialized Android device. Basically. Yeah, it's a very specialized Android device. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it runs full fledged Android. I love okay. it. It's, well, that's pretty um, awesome. You can actually pick it up. I, I have one that's actually cell enabled over AT&T. Mm -hmm. So it runs the AT&T network. Now, obviously, I can't make a phone call on it, but having full-fledged Android on a camera is great for being out and about when you want to take pictures of something and get them posted immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, that's like if you're going to someone's mm -hmm. wedding or if you're going, I, I'm big into Comic-Con type stuff. If you're mm -hmm. going to a con, um, rather than try to try to... And, and you can't get close to something, obviously. That camera has, has been amazing. When, and being able to have all the apps on there, uh, it's been phenomenal. Yeah, so you can actually edit and everything in camera there. Like, yeah, uh, if you wanted to add filters and contrast or whatever, that's pretty awesome. Because mm -hmm. um, um, my friends that are Android, they're like, they are so anti-iPhone, but none of them will ever be able to see, like, uh, anyway, <laughs> a lot of these apps don't really work very well on the Android system. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, and and I, I just wondered. I wonder what you what your thoughts were because my friends that are that are Android users are militants. They hate the Apple. <laughs> and and I I personally don't understand that, but uh, more power to them. Yeah, we're 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 Apple first for daily drivers, and we love to play with Android. Yeah, around here they're they're great. I've used both, and uh, I got to tell you. Uh, yeah, iPhone. I'll never. I'll probably never go back to Android. I just. Uh, it's just so, so, if, so helpful. <laughs> if I wanted to sit and fiddle with my phone all day to try to get something to work, yes, I would go get it. I would, <laughs> exactly. My, I would my daily drive. <laughs> exactly. But it's so customizable. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> all right. On that note, hey guys, we got to get out of here so the guys can talk video games up next on Boss Battle. Uh, but we got so much stuff coming up. If you're here in the Pittsburgh area, there's the next event. Uh, I've been following this uh, nextpittsburgh.com for a while, um, and they got a big thing happening. Uh, five companies, five minutes each, five local craft beers, maybe more. Uh, if you want to go check that out, go to uh, nextpittsburgh.com and uh, look for the next event information. Uh, um, Mayor Bill Peduto is going to be around and some uh, pretty cool CEOs and, and uh, small business companies being represented there, um, including, I think I saw Romeo Delivers that we've talked about with the uh, Alpha Lab demo day uh, in the past year on this show. So uh, go check that out. And also, do, do, do National Podcast Day is a Aww. thing. They have a day for that? They have a day for that. It is, I just linked the video, which is very unfortunate. Hopefully they have the thing here. It's September 30th. Thankfully, we're already doing six podcasts on that day. So oh, we'll be awesome. ce celebrating anyways. Almost um, as cool as Flag Day. <laughs> as cool as Flag Day. Uh, but you can check it out. The National Pod, I think it's just nationalpodcasting.com. I, again, I put the video instead of the other thing. Look it up. You'll find it. We've been retweeting it uh, as well. Sure, we'll support it. Podcasting is still a thing. It's a big thing. Uh, and uh, we'll take part anywhere we can. They're still releasing info. Last I saw, uh, they don't have the website in there. There's there's your YouTube tip of the day. If you're promoting a, a, a event, website, something like that, make sure the URL is in your description, guys. 
it's just a little thing. Um, and don't, lo- don't upload your personal nudes to your Google+. Plus and while account. you're at it, don't upload your personal nudes to your Google+. Plus. <laughs> Just Aww. as one as one actress put it, um, um, uh, that's why my my phone just has uh, pictures of food and cute puppies, and I get naked on TV. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. There you yeah. go. So. Yeah. No hacking involved there. Anyways, um, uh, also do 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 September ninth. Uh, Apple is going to announce something. Maybe sort of. We'll see. I understand they have a very very big venue booked for it yeah well they built onto the venue from what i saw <laughs> there were some interesting photos that well, leaked on the internet but, yeah it was like they're, they're building off of what is it the yerba buena center so, so we'll have uh i'll i'll see where that lies uh time wise and i'll try to do some live tweeting as long as it doesn't run into my other podcasts um it shouldn't it's usually like one to three or something like that uh yeah it's eastern ten, time it's, it's uh 10 a.m so it's like one o'clock here yeah, it's one o'clock. They here. might go two hours. I, I'll just work around that. Uh, so I unfortunately have some meetings, but I'm going to try to to, to multi-cast. watch our twitters, and of course, uh, we should have a all star regular cast here next week to talk about the fallout from that. September second. That's today. Asus smartwatch. Did that happen? Yeah, I heard they were going to release a watch. I didn't see anything. The the yeah. IFA is going on in Berlin right now. Yeah, so there's like going to be a lot big, of stuff. We'll we'll probably catch call. up with that here in a week. And Motorola is going to announce something on the fourth uh so with that rob on the run where are you uh, uh, on. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on the run on yeah, the, inter- on the internet still stuck on 28 uh i am rob on the run on twitter and on instagram and please check out my vines uh rob johnston on vine awesome chilla he's at chilla on the twitters that's where i'm at that's where you'll find me and here every tuesday yes and, of course, that is to hear live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, uh, on Twitter, uh, at AwesomeCast. Uh, you can also hit us up, AwesomeCast at sorgatronmedia.com. AwesomeCast on Facebook, on Google+. Uh, hit us up. Uh, subscribe to us. Comment on us if you dig this episode over on uh, iTunes, YouTube, Spreaker, Stitcher, um, anywhere Friendster. that you're going to find us. What's that? Friendster. Friendster. Zanga. Zanga. My space. Yeah, my <laughs> gosh this was so live, cool live journal uh also a big thanks to mike allen at mike allen pr uh on the twitters who's been doing show notes and tweets for us all night long thanks to our chat room that's been giving us such interesting information like the jennifer lawrence uh cancer fund um, that a boy chachi they, that's no that was juggalo john actually that that was not chachi <laughs> for that one well, shout uh, out to chachi but he is definitely hanging out in there uh, enjoying the show. Big big crowd in there. Thanks everybody's joined us there. Um thank you. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Yeah,